Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 11th of December to the 15th of December 2017. As always, starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of currency pairs and markets looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. I'm also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in the coming week and also weeks ahead. So hopefully you're all having a great weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index. Now, last week we had resistance at the 93.455 failing to hold, and we were looking for this kind of price action where it broke, pulled back and tested, and then continued to the downside. We got a pullback and a test of this area, but we failed to really break any further down, and we started instead to break to the upside. Now, this move above the 93.455 to the 94.030 was tradable, and in fact, you can anybody following the daily currency reviews would have seen we went bullish on the US dollar index, kind of bullish to neutral fairly early on in the week. And there were plenty of opportunities, in fact, to take US dollar strength last week. And we did, in fact, take some in the live room. And so now we go into next week sitting underneath the 94.03. We're looking for this kind of price action over here, but in reverse. So now we've had a break of resistance. We are looking for a potential pullback test as support before further advances. Now, first of all, up towards the 94.030 again, this kind of double top here. But if we can get a break through the 94.030, we will be looking up towards the next target to the upside. You can see the top of the range held over here and also in the past at the 94.850. Now, two quick things to remember going into next week. One, if you do follow daily currency reviews, uh, you can get the daily currency review an hour earlier than everybody else and before the markets open at half seven as opposed to half eight, uh, simply by clicking in the link below and clicking on the free account option. And also that next week we have no fewer than four interest rate decisions. We have an interest rate decision coming out of the US on Wednesday where we're expected to have an increase in the interest rate. And on Thursday we have three interest rate decisions coming out of Switzerland, coming out of the UK and also an interest rate decision from the ECB which of course affects the euro. So just bear that in mind going into next week we have some heavy data and that's likely to cause quite a bit of volatility in the markets. Next, we have oil. Now, last week, we started the week at the 58.79 up here, and we said we were looking for a breakthrough before we we're looking for continuation to the upside. And you can see why we wanted a confirmed break through this resistance area up here, because we actually failed to continue any further and we started to decline. Now, we broke down below key area of support at the 56.83, but you can see we actually broke straight back above it over here. And so very simply put, going into next week, we are looking for a correction to take place and a retest of broken resistance in this case here. So broken support and then failure of resistance, a so broken resistance, turning back as support. And this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. So we're going to be looking at taking those back up towards the top here, towards the high of this move over here at the 58.79. So the first pair we're going to look at is the euro US dollar. Now we had some strength coming into the US dollar as discussed last week. And as a result, we had a breakdown below the key area of support, the 1.18363 in the euro dollar. We started to make our way down towards the next key area of support and the first target to the downside at the 1.17225. Now you can see we came very close, but we didn't quite complete this. So what we'll be looking for going into next week, if we can get a pullback, uh, and ideally a retest of broken support turning resistance, although we already had this over here. But if we can get any kind of pullback and correction into this area up towards the 1.18363, this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at taking those short, first of all, down towards the first key area supports and the first target to the downside, 1.17225. And then we'll be looking for a breakthrough here and a further continuation to the downside to the next key area of support and target two to the downside at 1.16720. Now, we did have some really good data coming out of the US in terms of non-farm payrolls last week, and we expect further declines to ensue in the euro dollar next week. Next, we have pound dollar. Now, last week we broke above. We had this kind of bull flag pattern 
and we broke out of this corrective pattern and above the 1.3447 but as you can see we failed to stay above this and we actually broke back down this failed to hold a support so very simply put going into next week we're looking for a correction and a retest of broken or failed support over here turning resistance and if we get this pullback in the pound dollar, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to form in this area. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next target to the downside at the 1.3341. Now, if we get a move down to this area, we do run the risk of going into a bit of a range. And so we'll be looking for a move back up towards the 1.3447 if we get that kind of range. However, if we do get a breakdown below here, we'll be looking back towards the range top highlighted here in gold. This was the big two month range top over here at a 1.3270 and the daily currency reviews next week will give us a very good idea of how the pound is going to perform next we have us dollar japanese yen now discounting the interest rate decisions next week we are expecting further advances in the us dollar and we're expecting further advances in the us dollar yen we broke above the key area resistance at the 113.186 and we started to accumulate. We, in fact, came back down and tested broken resistance as support. And so this is a great place to now start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get those bullish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area of resistance and the target to the upside are the 114.487. Next, we have the Aussie US dollar. Now, last week, the Aussie US dollar performed quite nicely, breaking down below the key area of support at the 0 0.7 five seven one five and it started to make its way towards the target which we highlighted next key area supports the downside at 0 0.74888 but you can see we stopped just short of this target last week and so what we'll be looking for going into next week is either a completion of the target or preferably if we get a correction and a pullback as the US dollar index starts to correct as well. If we get a pullback and we start to see some strength coming into the upside in the Aussie dollar, we are going to be looking at using this correction as a chance to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking to short those bearish formations and patterns, first of all, down to the initial target, which we had set from last week at the 0 0.74888 and completing this first move. And we'll be looking for further declines and a break through here as we are starting to trend to the downside. You can see we have this big correction here and we've started the next push to the downside and if we get a break through the first key area of support and the target one at the 0 0.74888 we're going to be looking for a secondary target and target two to the downside the next key area of support to the downside at the 0 0.74276 in the Aussie dollar next we have the New Zealand US dollar now last week we were looking for a pullback towards key area support at 0 0.68217 you can see we did in fact get this and we were looking for a pullback into this area before we were starting to look for longs up towards the target at 0 0.69530 and as you can see we didn't manage to come all the way up to this target now we start the week above the 0 0.68217 that means the target to the upside at the 0 0.69530 is still the target going into next week however as we are expecting further advances potentially in the US dollar index if we start to get a breakdown and you can see we have a corrective pattern here if we start to get a breakout of this sort of channel to the upside here and we get a breakdown out of this kind of counter trend line here and also the 0 0.68217 we will start to look down towards the key area of support down here but this will be determined during the week in the daily currency review so we will keep those and just bear those in mind to the downside but as we start the week above the 0 0.68217 we are going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns and we're still going to be looking up towards the target as highlighted from last week at the 0 0.69530 next we have the us dollar swiss franc now we started the week last week underneath the key area of broken support holding those resistance 0 0.97622 and as a result we were looking for further declines below this area here but you can see we actually gapped up and we started to uh, advance breaking above the next key area of resistance to the upside at 0 0.98599 and you can see once we had a breakthrough here we actually came back to test the support before advancing to the upside now going into this week very simply put we are looking for further advances in the US dollar and so we are looking for further advances in the US dollar Swiss franc if we get a correction and we start to get a correction to the downside in the US dollar index before further advances that would fit quite nicely with a correction and a pullback possibly even a retest of broken resistance turning support again like we had over here at the 0 0.98599 
But if we can get any kind of correction here in the US dollar Swiss franc, we are going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at taking longs up towards the two targets to the upside and the next key areas of resistance to the upside at the 1.00239 and the 1.00744. Next, we have the US dollar CAD. Now, last week, we were actually looking for further declines and a potential retest of broken support over here as resistance at the 1.27730. But you can see when we came up to this area, we didn't get any bearish formations or patterns. We went straight through here uh, as the US dollar started to advance uh, and the US dollar index became strong. Now, we highlighted that again in the daily currency review last week, and there was a nice trade we took in the live rooms to the upside in the US dollar CAD. And now going into next week, we are simply looking looking for a correction to take place and a pullback and a retest of broken resistance over here acting as support. And if we get a pullback and a retest of the 1.27730, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking for this bull flag type of a correction. And we're going to be looking at taking those longs up towards the next key air resistance, the upside at the 1.29425. And if we can get a breakthrough here, we'll be looking up to the secondary target and the next key area of resistance to the upside at the 1.30176. And the final pair is the pound yen. Now, last week, the pound yen performed really nicely. We were sitting above the, we broke through the key area resistance over here at the 150.071. And we were looking for a pullback and a retest of broken resistance becoming support. And you can see we had this type of price action and we formed this kind of bull flag pattern. And we started to advance to the upside. So there was a really nice opportunity to go long around the 150.071. Now we're starting to correct and you see we falling back off the highs uh, of last week. Now, if we get a further correction and possibly even a retest of the support area at the 150.071, this is going to provide a great opportunity either for an additional entry to the upside or for anybody who wasn't involved in this last week. If we do get a pullback and a retest of the support area at the 150.071, uh, a chance to get involved. And if we get that type of price action, and we get this correction taking place, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be, first of all, looking up towards the next key of resistance to the upside and the target one, which remains at the 154.478. But if we're going to break through here, you can see we have a really nice opportunity, potentially, as long as we can stay above the 154.478. We're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance to the upside and target two at the 158.616. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A huge thank you to those of you who like and share these videos on a regular basis and who also comment. And another huge thank you to those who have already subscribed. Please remember next week that we do have those interest rate decisions that very, very often, virtually all the time, bring high volatility into the markets. So please bear in mind those key pieces of event risk next week. Don't forget, you can also follow us every single Monday to Thursday with the daily currency review. And that just allows us to keep our finger on the pulse of how the markets are evolving throughout the week. And we can adapt our trade plan around those changes. So apart from that, the only thing left to say is I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.